Oh. Right, here we go. 24 hours before the big, before the big final. Um, so the last time that I'll get speaking to you. So a few things to sort out straight away. First of all, this man here, this guy, stop contacting me. You were disqualified. I hope you're out of the garage, Owen. A couple of uh, letters have come in asking why this guy here didn't enter our captain. Uh, he was at the hairdressers on the, the day he had to put a submission in. And why the star of midfield, Mr. Grimley, isn't in it. Uh, partly Niall, uh, too busy hitting the sunbeds uh, ahead of the good weather. Their, their loss. So the final. A uh, couple of things uh, I want to uh, talk to you about. I want to talk to you about the competition. Uh, predict the first four in order, one, two, three, and four, by submitting your entry in a comment below the Facebook or Twitter uh, pages that Armagh GA has. Uh, there'll be a draw if there are more than one correct answer, and the winner gets an Armagh jersey. And I know I shouldn't do this, but I'll tell you what, I'll actually sign it if you want. I'll sign it for you if you want. So name the first four in order, one, two, three, and four. And remember, in the final, each competitor is doing the three skills that you saw in the knockout rounds, one after the other, against the clock. If you take 20 touches in each skill, alternating left and right side every time. So expect them to be fast and furious. Expect it to be close. Name your one to four. Uh, get in to win. So, a couple of things from last week. <clears throat> First of all, Donald Trump is gone. Uh, he's been making a bit of a name for himself since. Um, but he's, he's been busy in, in more ways than one. I have um, I've received this book from him uh, this week. And I thought I would share a couple of the... A couple of the, the sayings in it. Uh, so page 50. Uh, work like father. Uh, work like father. I, I don't know what that means. Um, let's randomly go. Uh, page 152. Get your head out of your aurora borealis. We'll have one more. Page 170. There's a lot of pages in this book. Uh, there's a bit of Shakespeare here. Cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war. But not you, Ran and Morgie. Just stand your man up. That'll do. Anyway, uh, I hope it goes well for him. So, uh, on to the final six. Oh, and by the way, Benny Tierney, thanks very much for the film last week. It's amazing. He got dozens of views just because he he's uh, got into cross-dressing. Can you think of how good that guy would be if he was also funny? But thanks for doing that, Benny. Now on to our, on to our finalists, our final six. Let's go through them. Uh, Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh, of course, memorably knocked out Rory Grugan in round two. Rory Grugan, R-O-R-Y-G-R-U-G-A-N. Rory Grugan knocked out by Winnie the Pooh in round two. I personally don't think Winnie's going to do very much. I've had a good look at his performance in the earlier rounds and I think he's simply uh, carrying too much timber. Quite menacing, but just too much timber. I think this against the clock over three skills is going to find Winnie out. So I don't see Winnie featuring. He wouldn't be in my top four. Of course, you can decide if you're entering if you see it differently. Then we've got Paul Hughes, the last cross McLean man standing. You won't know his way, Paul, but he's a very talented singer. We have been trying to get him to go on The Voice for the last the last couple of years, but he keeps uh, resisting the challenge. Now, in the final, I'm worried about one thing. Paul has a very low wall, and it looks like it's pebble dashed. And we have done a bit of uh, analysis, and we think the pebble dash is just slowing up the return of the ball to him fractionally. And in this final, a few seconds will make the difference in first, maybe in third or fourth. So... Worried about the wall, Paul. He's as skillful as anybody there. Um, but the wall could be his downfall. Next contestant, Kelly Mallon. The last woman standing. What could you say about her? Well, uh, apparently she's very temperamental. And um, she's also got a, a pretty strong right hook. I've, I've heard that being said about her. Um, if she got on the podium, it would be amazing. 
I think Kelly could win it. She must be a formality for an All Star this year. What I've just been at Staten the whole way through the the, the whole tournament, uh, and finally Kelly get a new nickname because that Kelly Moon thing doesn't it just doesn't work. Now, the people's player, the people's favourite, Dermot Marsden, the only former player, could I say veteran, still in the tournament. I have a soft spot for Dermot. I, I have to be honest about that. I'd love to see him win it. I I actually don't think he's going to make the top three, but I'd love to see him win it. And you know, Dermot and I have been very close since we we went to school together. Um, you know, we bonded. Uh, to be honest, I had to dig him out of a few, you know, a few situations in 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 the playground. Um, he's a bit, a bit soft, and um, we've been very close uh, ever since. But. But listen, maybe what's what happened in P three should stay in P three. So uh, Dermot, look, I'll always look out for you, but I think you've done well to get to the final. Um, so that's Dermot. Two competitors left: the Zen like Ryan Kennedy, the butcher of Bally McNabb, probably the most underrated forward in in his own uh, household. Um, a few letters have come in from people during the tournament saying that this guy is so serious uh, that he's scary. And what you don't know is that Ryan only has two facial expressions. There is his game face and there is his game face with a grin. And game face, game face with a grin means that he's, he's angry. Uh, Ryan means business. He's out to win. I see him in the top three for sure. For sure, I think he'll get a medal out of this. And then finally, we've got gorgeous, look at him, gorgeous Greg McCabe. He's like a cross between Barry O'Hagan and Tom Brady. You could say if Greg was made of chocolate, he would eat himself. He's so gorgeous. He isn't just handsome, you know. He isn't just a great footballer. He's got an encyclopedic knowledge of Celtic Football Club and 20th Century Girl Bands. Now, remember that this is a final against the clock. Three disciplines. People will be going flat out to win. These are serious competitors in the final. Expect them to push to the edge of the rule book. They really do want to win. Anything could happen. Finally, almost finally, these are the two people who've made the whole thing tick. Claire Shields and Brian McClelland. And a, a massive thank you to them for the incredible work they've done to make the challenge happen. Uh, and who knows what they'll cook up for us in the, in the weeks ahead. We might need something. Now, one more letter. This is a letter from somebody called Martin Martin Morrissey from County Clare. Dear Hugh, I have been following your challenge on the internet and I would like to take part. I am coming up to 40 years of age and I think I have a future in show business. Could I please commentate on the final? Well, uh, perhaps Martin and finally I want to end with something uh, original like a, like a mic drop uh, but I don't think that's going to work so thanks for watching good luck to all the competitors in the final see you sometime <laughs>